That's the market. Next is, and I'll skip a couple. Well, I'll skip um, incubator. This is your pet. Um, this is my pet right here. I call him. You can call him whatever you want, but this is my pet. That's that. This is my my companion, my sentinel, right there. Okay, and this is. I'll show you guys foundry. So this here. Think of it as a, a compared to Marvel Hero, think of it as a crafter. This is where you build all your warframes, your weapons, and this is also too where you build stuff that is needed f in order for you to continue a quest. So remember, foundry is important to, and it's always remember. This is going to be like probably the third thing you go on and be looking at because this is where you build a bunch of parts and a bunch of weapons and like everything. Here's my rifles. Here's my secondary, my melee weapon. There's my sentinels that I can build. And this this is where you actually come in here and build you know the things you need and so for instance right now these tabs here are just kind of shortcuts the second one kind of tells you what's completed the so friends that this is completed click claim and you get that and right now I'm building a, a helmet for a character named limbo okay this is where you build your item so for instance when you start playing this game and you get um, just an example you get a blueprint I'll show you guys right now Actually, you can get one. Um, a, for instance, let's say you have a character and you want to build a character. I know the first thing for me one I want to do is I want to play with as many characters. Well, each character requires four parts in order for you to build them. You need the blueprint, which is this right here. And this blueprint tells you what parts you need. And then from there, it tells you... I mean, just an example here. This is Ash Prime. In order for me to build Ash Prime, I have to get Ash Prime Neuro, Ash Prime Chassis, Ash Prime Systems and Oricon Cells. And so again, this is just a blueprint for in order for you to build that Warframe. And then from there, I have the Ash Prime Chassis. And within that, it tells you what I need. So in order for me to build the Ash Prime Chassis, I need Gallium. I need I have 337. I need three Nanospores. I have four million. I need 1,000. And then Rubido, I need 200. I need 400. I have 206,000. So all you do is build. The parts here, like for instance, the neuro and the systems and chassis. Once they're built, and this will be this will be all you know one one instead of zero one, and then and then I can build that character or that warframe. Okay, here's another example. Um, here is chroma, another another warframe. And notice here that I have already built the chroma neuro, I already built the chroma chassis, I already have built the volt neuro. I need chroma systems, so. I need to build chroma systems and I have here the blueprint for chroma systems so in order for me to build chroma systems what do I need I need two argon argon crystals uh, and I need one serum system I already have the neurons at axiom so once I get the serum systems and argon crystals then I can build the chroma systems that way it can, I can build chroma okay letting you guys know and the bottom here tells you how much credits it needs in this case the ash neuro Cost 15,000 credits to build this and it takes up 12 hours. Okay, keep that in mind. And this is where you again, this is where you build all your warframe. There's different types. Okay, so that's your foundry, that's your crafter. You guys can have fun and play with that. Um, the next is well, I'll skip the mods for right now and I'll go into you know, I'll go into mods. This is really, yeah, I'll, I'll just go over this right now. So, this is where you actually, actually, I'll skip this and it'll make sense in a bit. So, next is your arsenal. This is where you choose a Warframe and you choose the weapons, as you can see. So, all you do is hover over it, click Equip, and this is where you equip your different Warframes. Now, as I mentioned, do not buy Warframes, regular Warframes, only buy Prime. And I'll, get, I'll explain to you guys why in a bit, but do not buy Warframes. You can buy them if you want, it's up to you. If you have the money, go for it. But keep, do keep in mind, these Warframes cost plat. So, for instance, this Mag, this mag uh, Warframe, if I wanted to get Mag, I have to it cost me 75 plat I have 3,000 so it's basically nothing for me but me personally I would highly recommend do not do that because you can get a bunch of warframes for free just by playing the game just, you know just letting you guys know I'm being honest with you guys so keep that in mind so all you do is you pick a warframe so for instance this is Banshee that's where you just click equip actually before I proceed there's different things you can do the select mode if you click on that there's three different. Cooperative is basically you and your friends versus the computer, the AI. Archwing is space battles. Cause yes, you do fight in space, and so that's pretty cool. And this is where you can, you know, upgrade the same thing, 
but um, it's for your arc wing. And then last but not least, Conclave is for PvP. Okay. So let's go back to cooperative. So equip is where you equip your Warframe. Next is your upgrade. Okay, this is the gonna be like the number one thing you're gonna be doing is always upgrading your Warframe. So right here in equip, actually let me go to uh, Banshee Prime. Clip upgrade, upgrade again. This is where you upgrade your Warframe. So for instance, let me show you guys here in a bit. So for instance right now, this is my Warframe, and so this is all blank right now. So this is where you actually upgrade your Warframe. And on the bottom here are your mods. So what these are, and I usually call them, or the way I explain it to people, these are modifiers. What these do is mods help your your Warframe or your weapons to do even more damage. So for instance, this mod right here is called Intensify. Uh, a, a fully maxed out Intensify mod increases my power strength by 30%. So what you do is, it's very simple. All you do is click on it, or actually bring it up here, hold and click, I mean, hold it, click and hold, drag it onto an empty slot, and there you go. Just like that, it's very, very simple. Just like so, okay? But do keep in mind that the cost of this is 11. And so the, you do have a mount capacity. So right now, for instance, right now it's 60. So, and I'll, let me show you a, one that costs like 10 because I don't want to do math here but uh, okay perfect so let's say you want to use this mod right and you put it on here perfect so again this is I don't want to go over in detail that's more advanced but this mod what this does is it grants me power strength 25% but the duration is 12% so and it tells you right here so power duration now is went down to 88% but the power strength is at 125 so it's 25% more and you notice the cost of this is 50 so that's why it went down to to 50. I mean, the cost of this is 10, hence it went down to 50. So for instance, right now, mod capacity is 60. If I put this mod on here, 50, okay? But you guys notice here, there's little symbols right here. There's like a little dash. If I put a mod, a modifier that has the same exact symbol, the cost of that mod is reduced by half. For example, right now this is uh, it's V or Y, however you want to call it. If I put this mod, with the same exact symbol, the cost of this is going to be down, instead of 10, it's going to be 5. So here we go. So again, right now it's 50, because I put it here, it's, right? And if I put this mod here to this location with the same mod, um, polarity, it's going to be reduced by half. So I'll show you. See that? Now it's 55. And it's important to know because when you start playing the games, when you start using, when you start having or obtaining mods, it costs a lot. For instance, this one's 14. And if let's say I didn't have the polarity, and I put on another, what's another expensive? This one right here. Just these three alone. Look at this. This is 14, 11, and 10. That's 22. That's 22, 36 right here. Or some. I don't want to do the math, but you get the point. So this right here, these three mods, I went from 60 to 25. My mod capacity now is 25. If I put another one, let's say this one right here that costs 12. Look at that. I'm. I have 13 mod capacity left. I basically can put on one maybe two mods so that's why it's important to know polarity make sure that this symbol here matches with this one and if it does put it on here look now at 20 I'll put this one right here that's 12 but me but my, by me putting these mods with the same polarity with like I showed right I'll get to show you guys right now now I'm at mod capacity 26 that means I can put another more you know highly expensive per se mod like this one right here just an example and I can put another one. Oh, I already have some something else. But anyways, but you get the point, All right? And that's that. So each one you see, like, like I said, each one a uh, mod has a symbol. Make sure you put that symbol, the most expensive mod you have, that like, put it in the same symbol that's on here, that with the same polarity. That way you can, you can save up your mod capacity. And you can have you can add even more mods or more powerful mods. Okay, that's that. So for instance, you notice how there's three and there's other ones here that are have nothing? Well, you can actually add additional polarities. And all you do is, click if you click on actions, here you can actually add more. So for instance, where you go to is here, uh, polarization. All you do is click on it, and then, then it tells you where do you want to put this polarity. So let's just say I want to do another dash, like the symbol like this one. All you, you can put it anywhere, it doesn't matter. All you do is click on it once, 
and it shows you do you want this one keep clicking on left clicker and then once it shows the one you want like this one then you hit apply but do note though that when you do this you essentially what you're doing is prestiging meaning instead of having your you would have to restart with that warframe to level zero and then reach up to level 30 you know we basically start from zero and then go up to level 30 the max rank is level 30. so every time you do this or as they call it here in game is forma is you you essentially prestige and you bring your character from 30 to to zero but you added this polarity so that means you can add more mods more high you know more cost uh costly mods okay that's what action is so you can click action click this and then boom now another thing you can do too is you can actually increase the mod capacity. You can double the mod capacity. So for instance, right now this is 60. Banshee, right? And if I use, I will go to regular Banshee. And this is here. I'll put a blank one. Notice it's 30. In order for you to increase it by double, you have to install a Orican reactor. All you do is you click on it. It can, it can do two things. Either one, if you have the blueprint for the Orican reactor, which is this right here. If you have an Oricon React Blueprint, which again, you can get it in game for free, you just gotta play it and watch out for alerts. Once you do is, if it's available, then you can use that. You know, once you, if you get the Blueprint for the Oricon Reactor, build it, and once you build you can use that, um, you know, Oricon Reactor, that way you don't have to spend any plat. Or you can, can actually use your plat, like, which in this case costs 20, to double the mod capacity. And again, this is 30, so it's very important to, especially if you have a Warframe, that you're enjoying a lot I would highly recommend double the mod capacity because if you don't just to give you an example um, just put on here this will this will consume easily and it'll, it'll go by so fast here um, just just I'm just, I'm just kind of showing you guys so look at that just three mods alone I'm already any three out I have only slots for three that's it only have so in other words I have right there four mods, which doesn't really do much. But if I were to, if I were to, you know, double your mod capacity, then I can do a lot more. And as you can see from my my Banshee Prime, I can do quite a lot. Okay, so that's that. Now the the next thing is why Prime? As you know, again, what's the difference of the two of the Prime? This what's the difference between Banshee and Banshee Prime? Is is that it's only one little thing, honestly. It's that Banshee, and I'll show you guys. So, regular Warframes. Well, let me show you guys. Um, let me remove this. You notice with, with Banshee, there's three of those symbols, polarities. There's three. There's one, two, three. And if I were to go to switch to Banshee Prime, um, show you guys. There, another there's four. One, two, three, four. That's usually is the difference of a prime and non-prime Warframe, um, is that you get the extra polarity. Now, some of you might think, well, it doesn't take long. You can just do it. With, you can always add that polarity later. True, but honestly, it does take up some time to level up to 30. And so when you get a prime, you always get the extra slot. So that's why I highly recommend getting a prime. If you can get a prime, get that prime. So for instance, there's two. Banshee, I got it for free in-game. And there's Banshee Prime, which I had to buy with my plat. Okay, with aka money, so I highly recommend getting the primes because the primes again you get the extra extra polarity already built in built in with that with that uh, with that warframe, so that way you can actually put more mods on there. Okay, that's basically the difference of the two. But also too, honestly, when you have a regular prime, the friends is I'm gonna show you guys here. This is regular banshee, and this is my prime. And again, the primes usually look better. Okay, so that's that. Um, um, again, in parents, I don't want to go into detail, but you can change the color however you want. Abilities just goes over the abilities and what they do, and it tells you a little bit about it, how much they cost, and everything. Now, same thing goes for the weapons. Equip, choose your weapon, upgrade, same thing. It's very, very similar. Um, you can add forma, same thing. You can double the mod capacity. In this case, I have it already built in. You can change polarity. So, for instance, here I can add another one here, wherever. It's the same exact thing. Companions, same thing. Equip, 
choose a companion do you want upgrade same exact thing you can action mod you can double the mod capacity you can pol polarity add more stuff to it that way you can put more expensive mods same thing with same thing with this and so forth gear is these are things that you can actually equip with you when you start playing the game so for instance this right here is a health restorer um, instantly restores your health health and I have 10 of these so whenever I'm playing the game I'm low on health I can go to my gear activate this and game regenerate my health it's always good to have so again this is where you're gonna be using like you're gonna be going here quite often so that way when you get mods you can you know build a character because the more mods you get the more it changes your character um, and so yeah but one thing to know is that if you get a mod, it's all shared within. It's all shared with all the with all um with all your warframes. So it's, not, it's not like Marvel Heroes where you get an artifact and you put that artifact on one character. Again, I play Marvel Heroes, so sorry about the referencing, but it's not like the certain games where you have one mo one item and you put the put that item on the character. That means it's only that character can use it. No, it's not like that. It's once you get that mod, you can share with any any uh, any warframe. But do do keep in mind though, so for example, that when and I'll show I'm kind of going ahead of myself a little bit, but actually I am. So I'll, and explain what I'm trying to say. But Arsenal, that's what it is. This is where you change you we change a weapon.